In order to build a content page and start working on just a simple content within a module, uh, I go ahead and in the modules view, I go ahead and uh, add a, the plus sign and I determine what kind of materials that I want to add from Canvas. And so in this case, this is just going to be a content page um, and it's going to be a new page. And I'm going to go ahead and um, I'm going to go ahead and uh, give my page a title. So this is about uh, uh, creating a module walk. Um, and then I determine if in my table of contents I want it to have some hierarchy. And right now I'm not going to um, have any indentation, but I might change that later. Uh, I'll add the item. You'll notice that in a particular uh, chapter or part of a module, it will go to the bottom of the module. I actually want this to be at the top of the module, so I'll drag that up. And I'm going to go ahead and under the gear menu, edit that particular uh, content page. And uh, when I do so, I can simply uh, click inside the module and click the edit button. And then um, I can use uh, all of the features of the rich content uh, editor in order to publish materials within my module. So for example, um, I might uh, uh, let folks know that they can watch a video on uh, a module walk and publishing a module. And then I actually would probably uh, choose to highlight that and bold it. And I can change everything from the text color to the background color. I can center the attacks. I can uh, align it. All the same sort of uh, basic formatting features you would see in your email. Um, I can add tables, uh, links to URLs. Um, and in a few moments, um, what I'll end up doing is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to end up um, under more external tools. Uh, adding this particular YouTube video that I'm creating uh, as we speak. Um, and then finally, when I'm all set, I would go ahead and if it was ready to share with all my students, I would save and publish. If it was still in the draft mode, which it's now, um, I'm gonna go ahead and click save. And I can see that back in my modules view um, that there is a little uh, dark gray cloud and the color of gray, meaning that it is an unpublished module an unpublished content page in my module and uh, students won't be able to see it until I hit that little cloud mark uh, to publish that module.